Welcome aboard. Welcome to XRP Boardroom with Zerk and Buster. What's up, Buster? How you doing, bro? What's up, boy? Damn, you know, my mic bro? ain't even ready, dude. I, I'm he's he's not ready. You get it right. <laughs> he's not ready. What you up? get it right up, bro. You get it right up on the spot. Yeah, that's one of right the, up. On the spots. Yeah. How you been, bro? I was actually looking at some old videos and stuff, about to upload a bunch of old stuff. And man, we've come a long way, man. You know, yeah, dude. I want to, I want to check ahead. out some older ones, man. See what. I remember you said that like a yeah. month ago. For yeah. you to say that, that's pretty yeah. good, bro. I've gotten a lot more wrinkly. Maybe it's the HD cameras. We've upgraded quite a bit, bro. Our clarity of like video <laughs> and, and the audio is much more clear, bro. But I was like, I was full of piss and vinegar then, bro. It's fun. Even uh, you know, two three years, man, is a world of difference. Got a lot more gray in my goatee. You know what I mean? I got some grays popping out, man. But uh, bro, you had dude in a bunch of those good. new in a bunch of the new oh. ones. You had a full beard going, dude. Big old bushy yeah. fucking beard. Yeah. So it's good. It's good. It shows our uh our progress. It also shows our work. And uh the cool thing is that it kind of gives like a memorable memorable was it memorabilia? Memorabilia. what is it? Where you a have memorable? some memorable bro for the for the blue crew that have been here for all these years yeah you know what sure. i mean since day one man started with the the kryptonite lives and uh i had no idea what i what i was doing bro and we had and then you started like the day the second kryptonite live or set no, the first coffee time was by myself and then the second one was with you we just automatically started doing it and this is when we were on you know my channel but it took a little bit though i think you went months you're doing your own thing for nah, bro. Uh, we re we rebranded the the videos. I was looking at them, bro. And so you've been here since day two, <laughs> since show oh. two. We yeah, coffee time for coffee for coffee, coffee time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee, yeah time. coffee time. But Crypto Night Live was like uh, me. You by went myself, like six like, months for probably. days, bro. A lot of yeah. time. Yeah, but no, dude, they're pretty just, cool to watch. Yeah, I would just call in, or yeah. I'd be like out back on my phone, but yeah. uh. Yeah, man. I'm glad you got me to get on here. Hey, Learn some shit. Bro, we've been doing a lot of shit. You're the one that taught me originally, man. Shout out to you. you were, you're the one where I came to you and was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, And you yeah. started me off with Zerps. You started me off with all the knowledge points were Zerps. And then we got into the basic knowledge of the Red Pill stuff, which was like War Castles. So if, I don't know if you guys know about that. There's a you know sergeant horton and uh russell j gould and all that it doesn't matter who the honestly fuck is. it doesn't matter who those who those people are bro but it's the concept of the teaching of five eyes the postal service that how the government works how fucked up it is like it's crazy bro sorry go ahead yeah even that video gets into the masonic not necessarily masonic what's the word like the shipping word you know, um, everything runs on i can't think of it chattel chattel is what we are we're cargo straw man yeah. it's straw man concept that's People one of the most like, impactful what videos are you talking I about think. berserker straw man of, what the fuck yeah <laughs> Sorry, out of every ahead. video i watch that sergeant horton mm -hmm. it's like an hour long is one of the most impactful videos and it still applies to this day and when I watched that, like, I don't know, three, four years ago, 
uh-huh. a while ago. I don't know, three yeah. years ago at least. Uh, how long have you been in crypto? Three years. Uh, right? It was like twenty. Oh, you're going on four years. Twenty twenty. So April twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm four years. Yeah. So I watched that video probably over four years ago, and I tied XRP to that video, and it has nothing to do with XRP, even in the in the quantum formula, the three two one formula that he shows you in that video it's all xrp bro it's always been xrp (laughs) but uh (laughs) yeah Yeah. but uh, yeah that video uh i watched it uh, about a month ago two months ago i watched it again it's it's good man Mm -hmm. i love that man i love the fact that we have like a lineage we have a history and it's not just you and i bro it's it's a lot of the blue crew there's a lot of new faces now, man, because time has elapsed. But the original OGs, like once I start uploading all this old content, guys, you'll be like, damn, like you're all babies too. You get to look back on your history. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, E4, you know, even even the guys that have come and gone, bro, like Patty, uh, rest in peace, Patty. Uh, For sure. We got, you know, who else was in there? Uh, Redbeard, bro. Zeno. He was originally yes. Redbeard. He was Redbeard. You know? Yeah. And then we had uh, EC, bro. EC. EC. He's still around. Ani. Yeah. Ani was there. Um, Vlogs, man. Vlogs. There's some old school shit going on, bro. So you guys will have some, uh, some tokens of memory, you know, going on. But yeah, I was just, I'm just kind of like reflective today it's kind of cool so yeah i want to check some out man yep so yeah if you guys want to check out the uh description if you're in here and you haven't subbed to the other channels there's two other channels there's my original channel which i you know was on originally you guys can sub to that because i'll probably use that eventually you might want to keep that in your subs anyways in case anything happens god forbid something happens to buster's channel but we're making backups to make sure that we're we got some longevity. And then the other channel is the one is the main Zirkin Zirkin Buster channel that I'm gonna archive all the stuff on. So but go to main go to our description in the video right now, guys, if you're watching on YouTube and hit subscribe on both those channels. That way you're there in case anything happens. There's extra, there's other routes. And then um, yeah, guys, thanks for being here all these years. It's pretty cool. We got a lot more to go too. Wait till we pop. I was telling Buster, wait till we pop. The pandemonium is high fee. It's gonna be high fee up in here. You think it's you think it's crazy when we're like hundred or two hundred or watching? Wait till we're at ten bucks and there's a revolving three thousand people watching live. Honestly, bro, at a dollar it's gonna be record breaking numbers in here. Just at a dollar. Yep. But uh everybody's gonna want to do uh their live stream rounds it's gonna be like a pub crawl i've called it for years i guarantee you it's gonna happen if they don't shut the internet down with a black swan but if we're running and everything's up and running but we're mooning like you bet your ass zirk and buster are gonna be open for business come check us out come what do you say come holla at your boy come holla at your boy uncle buster i'll be here all day all day bro. <laughs> Yeah, shout out oh, to you guys. Man. All the fresh blood in the chat, too. It's hard, man, because the, we get a lot of people on now. It's hard to keep track of the comments. And comments we, are flying, dude. Like We appreciate you guys coming in. Last show, I thought I was at the bottom of the list, man. And then when I scrolled with my little mouse, I was like, oh, shit, I'm not even at the bottom. I'm like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. It's gnarly, bro. So, but yeah, guys, check out our description and sub to both those channels if you can. If you can, share the share the share it, sub it, whatever, because those will be the archives with all the original episodes plus all the everything up to this point. So we'll have. Tons we did a of little uh, content, yeah. Mini meetup last night with the NorCal crew. Yeah, Zerk and Buster, Rain and Nerdy man. It was tight, I bro. Just, I should have just fun. hit record and went live, dude. You guys were just yapping hard for <laughs> hours. I was like, oh my goodness. But to, but to see, oh, see, man, it's see, crazy. Where we're at, see the level where we're at, though. We're master orators. Master <laughs> orators. We're fucking, we've been doing this for years. Even Nerdy was in the early days, Crypto Night Live, bro. And I didn't even realize it. I didn't know but, that. 
Yeah, he's or like second, third episode, Crypto Night Live, bro. He's in there, Nerdy Panda. He's been Are here ever serious? since. Yeah, we never wow. saw. Yeah, that blew my mind, bro. Looking back, you're like, oh shit. And then not only that, to see our growth, to see how we've evolved and how we've changed and concepts that have been answered since then. And, you know, shit, we were calling Moon, Fat Moon in 2022. Like it was before 2020, it was like 2021. And we're calling Moons coming up in 2022. And it's like, and then you hear that echo chamber bullshit. Yeah, but, 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 Berserker, you've been calling that forever. Like it's the same shit. It's a, it's the, it's the hate concept on the XRP army. And it doesn't take away the fact that XRP isn't, it, you know, it is the one. It's just people, they look at people like us that are super passionate, like we're bonkers. And yeah. there'll be a day of vindication. There'll be a day where grown men will cry. And that's the truth, you know? And we're sticking to it. I'm actually very, very proud Indeed. of us. Yeah. We're wrong till we're right. And when we're right, we're fucking out of here, bro. Like that's right. And that's yeah. the time we're coming on, bro. Like, yeah. You know, you could talk, you know, when you hear the crazy numbers, yeah, that's that's a ways away. But five dollars is like around the corner, bro. Yep. And you're you know you're, you're you're being sweet. Sweet yeah. five bucks and shit. Based on what we're looking at. Bro, what's on the table right now is stable coin about to replace tether like all the money you yeah, know but 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 berserker you're full of shit tether's not going anywhere whatever bro we'll see we'll see we something's planned will just see. sit back get your popcorn yeah but yeah uh i was gonna say e4 yeah the, the original people are are pretty much red you know, are, are we're red pilled, but even even now the majority are the same. You know, you'll you'll have the pushback every once in a while in the chat for people that think you know a hundred dollars crazy. But uh, I'm just I came off the red pill, so I think the perspective is a. Uh, I remember telling like Q people like, "Oh, it's XRP." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like that. Like 2017, bro, 2000, early 18. And then I just saw CKJ, so he has a video on talking about VLO. Yeah, dude. And, and, and uh, I was there's a meme. That before. There's a Pepe meme from 2020, bro. And it literally, it lists all the categories of 17 red pillars. And we have a Pepe meme of the XRP shillers. And that maritime was, law. Yeah. Maritime Thank law. You, Tony Bag. Boom. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Yeah. Damn. Tony Bags coming through. Uh, you know, if we just looked at the comments, it's all over the place. Maritime law and current commerce. <laughs> Problem is the comments uh, flying, bro. Man. We got 125 watching and it's just us sitting here talking. You know what I mean? We, should, we love you guys in the chat. Thanks for coming in. Shout out to CAG Films, man. Yo. I'm about to pull up a... Uh, Cheers. I'm about to pull up a quick uh, X, a uh, quick Zerp. Uh, I don't know. They're not tweets anymore. They're Zerp. I don't know how to say it. I'm looking for it, though. It's referring to Bitcoin and Tether. You could get with this or you get with that. I think I got with this because this is kind of fat. You could get with... Let me find it. You could get with that this shit. or you could Remember get with that. that. You could get with this because this is kind of I don't remember what he says there because this is kind of something engine engine number nine <laughs> going down the transit line. If the train comes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, back on the seat. <laughs> E4 man, what up, player? Where you been? Hey, I'm always lurking. I found it. Let me share, I'm gonna share this screen real quick. Share screen, bro. Share screen. Where you got? What you got? What you got? Here it come, yo. Here it come. Here it come, yo. Here it come. Here it is. This or that. 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 This
or that, this or that, this or that. Who's the black sheep? What's the black sheep? Don't know who I am or when I'm coming, so you sleep. Wasn't in my room, wasn't in my fear. Knew not who I was, but listen here. Dress, D-O-B-S, yes, I can suck a star. If it's all right with you, I'll rip this one never apart. Back middle to the front, don't front. Want a good time, want to give you what you want. Can I get a hey? Beautiful, old school, bro. Fuck it, might as well listen to the whole thing if we're gonna get unmonetized <laughs> for that. You know what I'm saying <laughs> it's the copyright, bro. The copyright. Nah, I'm saying I know what you're saying, and I appreciate that. That was a nice fun. But I messed song. it up because of this because of the music. Yep. My bad. It's okay. It's you okay. You you're up, bro. you're worth it. I told Nerdy that when I dropped him off last yeah, time. Yeah, we, we like, have to quit playing the. <laughs> we gotta quit playing the um. Joey Diaz, three motherfuckers. We gotta quit playing that, man. Cause yeah, that's, that's uh, automatic copyright. Well, this is a whole new realm we're going into because we're 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 trying to rebrand and get like semi organized because a, this monetization is activated now. Because of that, we have to be cognizant of what we're doing. But I don't want to be a fucking Nazi. You see what I'm saying? Like E4, man, let him play the fucking black sheep. I haven't heard that shit in 20 years. I bought I remember Black Deanie, Sheep. I remember Deanie, CD. my brother. Like one Deanie, of the first CDs. Deanie would put a tape into that shit. He had Cypress Hill tapes and Black Sheep t- and uh, Public Enemy. And uh, what was the other ones? There was tons of them, dude. Bell Bib DeVoe, fucking Boys to Men. Like, all that shit was on cassette when I was a kid. I, that's fond memories, bro. That's I was I thinking like. of the, when you guys brought up Tether, that I just thought of that, uh, that guy's... Uh, little meme he made <laughs> and like it's pretty clever you know <laughs> yeah well you're you're you're, you're worth it e4. You can... i feel like i've said before that maybe tether won't go away maybe i might have said that at some point back in the day but well it's gonna be on video and it's gonna be <laughs> on the zirkin buster channel so you can fucking <laughs> comb through all that shit and see what you where you fucked up and where you misspoke and what <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana, appreciate you, brother. Super shout chat. out, shout out, Louisiana. Thanks for all the effort and all the stuff you're doing for the, for the upcoming Moon Party, guys. So, get your tickets. Moonparty dot dot com. Let's go. Let's open the gates, man. Let's get some action up gates. in here. Get it done. Yeah, we're 18 minutes in, bro. Uh, let me throw it, throw it in the chat. Master the debaters, crypto G. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Boom. StreamYard link in the chat, guys. Hit us up. See those new, uh, the three new comments. Zerk and Buster. Berserker. Those are, uh, those are where all the shows are going now. So Uncle Buster, Zerk and Buster, and Berserker. We're trying to get legitimate. We're like a mafia family. You ever seen that shit on the movies? You know, used to run Coke back in the 80s, and now we're trying to legitimize the family. I bought just Black Sheep. Legitimize the family. Black <laughs> Sheep was like the, one of the first CDs I ever bought, and then I bought Tupac's first album after Black Sheep. Like, mm-hmm. that was days ago. That song right there, man. I was like eighth grade. It's a long time ago. Bro, and you're not old, but you're seasoned. Like your rub, bro. Your rub. You're, That's right, you're, man. You're, you're deliciously seasoned. That's what it is. We're not old. Shout out. Love, Love Hill. Buy your tickets here for the Las Vegas Moon Party. May 3rd performances, then May 5th. Pool party. Moonparty.2ticks.com. Fucking run it. Okay, the boys are Crypto on. Navigator on deck. Jess. What's up, everybody? Up, guys? Check my back. Am, uh, Check out my back. Going flying uh, c- camera phone today, unfortunately. Crazy stuff going on, man. I'm loving it. Um, seems like we've got a wrap going on here, man. We got Medico he's, he's, coming in with the um, the custody of the institutional. 
investors now. We got the banks getting in now. I mean, we got announced with the Bank of America being ringed again. We knew that bell was going to get rung again. I mean, I'm glad Brad kind of basically came out and said it, man. And I mean, these countries are getting on board. It's it's a lot, man. This this is getting really really exciting now. We got this dip for a reason. It's a shakeout. I can see the colors all over it. It's a great shakeout before we start to take off. So I'm getting excited. Two more. Well, we got two more weeks hey, Alan, to have it. What if it's not it's just a shakeout? Mm -hmm. What if it's an opportunity that he has given to, to new people that have gotten in here to get more bags? So it could be both. Yeah. What Five if? Five trillion. Go ahead. What if? No, I'm just saying, what if? <laughs> There's lots of theories, guys. That's the thing. But we're getting to a point where it it's like a slow boil. The temperature when we started in the pot of water back in 2020, 2021, and for a lot of you guys earlier than that, is a lot warmer now. But we become used to it. So when we get like bullish news, the Medico, the stable coin, the mm -hmm. we're just Oh, we're just not bothered, dude. It's because we're numb. We're numb, we're, dude. We're numb, bro. It's, yeah. and, and so, but that's the thing, Buster. He would say, just he'd always give me pointers, man, as like a like an OG older brother figure. Just don't be bothered, bro. You can't be bothered, and that's how you keep your peace and you're cool. Because I remember in the early, early days when something bullish See how bothered would come I out, am. <laughs> yeah, you look super bothered. Super bothered. <laughs> So, 62 in, cents. You just, <laughs> so in the old videos, I'm looking at the prices and we're like uh, talking about the prices from the old videos in there. I'm like, yeah, you know, Zerps are like a, a buck 20 right now. And I'm like, fuck, if we had that right now, it'd be pandemonium. Yeah, they use the waves of energy to fuck with us. Ups and downs, ups and downs. But like what I'm saying is, let's say the Medico news came out back in 2020 or 2021. I would have gotten, I would have like lost sleep that night. That's how excited I was about the bullish news. And like you said, we become numb, but we're not ignoring it. There's a difference between becoming numb and not ignoring it. Like we don't ignore this news. I know that this is the biggest thing since sliced bread. This is the golden ticket to the rest of our lives. And it still is. And it's not me trying to like push a fake narrative or be opium or fuck you. I love, I love feeling good instead of worried about an investment that I feel confident in. Because if I'll you take any just sorry, a gentle ahead. just a gentle reminder too to everybody on the call is not not everybody's there yet, right? Not everybody's got the bag. So we still have a we still have a an obligation and a a calling to let these people know. Like at the height of the eclipse when I screamed out to all my neighbors, XRP price is 62 cents, write that shit down. You you <laughs> heard it. They got so mad at me dude. They're like shut up. Shut up, Duel. <laughs> Shut up, Duel. Yeah. But that's that's the thing, bro, is that you can't take the the can't take you take you can't take a hoe. You can't make a hoe a housewife. Damn. You can't take you can't take the truth. You can't take the truth out of an XRP out of you an XRP army year, guy. You know what I mean? A year or two out of it. Maybe for a year. <laughs> What's that? Can I I have another hey man, one. I'm just can talking, you make, bro. Can you make <laughs> a housewife a hoe? Like, that's what I need. I need to make a housewife a hoe. Help me out you with that. Make, <laughs> you gotta, reverse engineer. You reverse that you, process. You, you reverse you engineer a hoe. A housewife, yeah. Okay. Well, we, we, want, we want more housewives. Though. What's that? I don't think Bill wants that problem. I don't think he wants that problem. Well, well, everybody wants a housewife, bro. We got to go back to, you know, Americana. The 50s, you know, we want to make some wholesomeness. We need wholesomeness, mm -hmm. bro. Amen. We, we, because the route we're I going. I'm talking about that one. I, oh, you're talking the about the reverse. Like, I'm, I'm talking about the ho, ho, ho. You, you don't, <laughs> you, you don't want that problem, dude. You don't want that problem. You know, no, I got 99 no. problems, but well, you know the rest. Yeah. A housewife right. isn't one. Yeah, that's right. Housewife isn't I one. I think you're right, though, Berserker. I see a lot of that happening lately with the youth. People are going back to family values and real traditional values, man. Because I saw a chick today at the grocery it. store. She had on a shirt that said "Housewife Life." <laughs> That's bullish, there bro, because they're making it cool again to be yeah 
a married dedicated like that's good you should have spanked her and see what her reaction was i'm sure it would have gone great <laughs> or sc and screen don't do that. xrp's you'll get at 62 cents yeah you'll Write get that down yeah right yeah I'll who's it uh left wef, wef patsy said that we're in willy wonka territory it's That's a right, world man. of pure imagination. <laughs> That's all I got to say, bro. That's all I got to say. Yeah, okay. man. Okay. You're here with us in the same room, Wef Patsy. No yeah. one gets out alive. No one gets out alive. Yeah. Bro, I was just saying, uh, bullish, man. I mean, we're, we're at any moment, man. Yep. It ain't, you know, we ain't going another two years of nothing, bro. Don't believe it. So Don't get ready. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what anyone says in this chat. We are close. <laughs> Dude, it could be literally like in the, like, yeah, the, everything is pointing. Like, the chart is so fucking tight. Like, we're at the apex. It literally is like. Yeah, man. Yep. Yep. I mean, how much more are we going to take, bro, as far as chart manipulation? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's coiling up. Like, <clears throat> With 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 XRP, like the more that it's manipulated, the more value that is being stored there. Let that sink in. Yeah, we got three bullish divergence on the hourly. The, the I mean, the last month, the last week. I mean, we've had a lot of movement on the chart. You're right, E4. You're right on the target because there's definitely going to be a breakout. Who knows if it's going to be up or down? I mean, it's it's so pushed down for so long. I think it's got to spring back up. I mean, look, we had one nice little pop up, and then we got a W W bottom, and then now we're looking like we're going to push up again. If, so if there's going to be a down, the have, a, do. have some fucking rainbow buy orders set all the way down, because if it's going that low, it's fucking popping off. You know, yeah. if we go below 60 cents, get in. Like, I'm get in at 63, 64, like under a dollar. Like I'll be buying 58 at, cents. But if literally, if it, 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 to me, if it goes lower than 48 cents or goes lower than that, that's super bullish. That's the time to like. Uncle super. Thursday says, "Man, my brother sold his whole bag. My neighbor, my neighbor didn't listen. One dude bought ten dollars worth. You can't take everybody with you." The Matrix is strong. The Matrix got that strong pimp hand. Just pimping these people. Oh, man. That's would sad. You say, would you say listen to the uncles? Listen to listen the uncles. Listen to the uncles, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. That's real life. That's real life shit right there. And it's still going. We're years and years I mean, in this like clown world, bro. It's like Groundhog Day. I tell my mom that. When I talk to her, I go, I go, hey, I'm sick and tired of Groundhog Day. We're the same fucking thing over and over and over and over. It's not just the debt slave job we're stuck in, all of us that are working. We're also getting up and struck same struggles that we had when we were sheep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, come on. But we're almost there, guys. Sorry. Go ahead. What are you saying, E4? Pay me an XRP on deck. What up, pimp? I was saying if there's a really big dip, that's a super bullish sign. Like, because of how long it's been coiling up and the manipulation means if they do that all they're trying to do is liquidate everybody out to get more for themselves so that makes it super bullish like if you've already got get some more you know like don't sell like if it goes below fucking 40 cents which i don't think it's going to don't sell your fucking bag you know get more i really hope we don't dip below 40 again my god me too, man. Well, like De Della UK, I'm, I'm ready. Della, Della UK, March 2025, March 10th. Uh, I think we're going to see something before that. Whether or not it goes down or up, it's going to be more, well, like a massive something. Doesn't the happening affect that? Like it, it causes a, a real quick, and that could that could actually already been priced in too. But well, well, cause a dip and then a fucking skyrocket for the altcoins. Or well, a lot of the guys are saying even uh, G's in here right now. Shout out GDLT. Go hit subscribe on G's channel, guys, if you're new. Um, GDLT's on YouTube. He does a lot of cool deep dives. And but G was calling. He was saying um, Bitcoin a post Bitcoin crash or a dip. 
So after the happening, post happening dip. So honestly, I don't know, bro. Like, well, that would be and go away is what they say for the stock market. I want to see what you would say on this. But if it goes down the after the happening, if BTC does that, look at the XRP BTC chart. And right, that, exactly. The fucking bottom of that. I mean, we haven't gotten an alt season really yet. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so they like, smacked us down no, what twice. Walmart. It hasn't really even started. Yeah. This is just the this is just the gentle lead up until like the the parabolic section of the bull market hasn't even happened yet. So there was six pullbacks of a um, BTC of thirty percent in the last bull market. So we've only well, seen really two big pullbacks so far. So there's well, going to be a few more. The Zerp the Zerp run that let that was able to go, which was the seventy thousand. 700x from dot zero zero six to three eighty whatever eighty nine that was allowed to happen but it didn't go any farther than that and then but come up 2020, 20, 2021 that shit was hardcore they smacked us down with the lawsuit and then kept us in this perpetual fucking low you know blood market bloodbath for a while and but that that just tells that's that's those are the telltale times telltale signs to me that you can't read charts. You see what I'm saying? Like you could read charts all day long, and yeah, there's some cool ass indicators. I'm not saying I know how to read charts. I don't, but I got a lot of fucking friends that know how to. And honestly, mm -hmm. bro, you guys never argue with me when I say this concept that this shit's so manipulated that how do you trust a chart? And that that's those are those are fucked concepts. It keeps you thinking. It's it's gonna go when they when they say it's gonna go. It ain't a matter of market action, and see that's that's a hard concept, bro. Because who's right, the chart guys, the TA guys, or Berserker Clown, fucking honk honk, beep beep, Richie. You know what I mean? But even like the charts building up for like six years, we're at the moment where it's blast off time. Uh -huh. But then, what if what if the the one big news comes in right in the moment, and then it that's blasts all it off takes right when it's supposed to blast off by the chart and tell me that's not pure control. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Just one yeah. piece of news, one that's catalyst. All. Yeah, we yeah, but there's been a thousand pieces of positive news. Mm -hmm. There's been a million fucking news. No, no, yeah, but it you, hasn't touched you know the, the front. They're, they're, they're not using it yet. It doesn't matter. That. That's what I'm saying. That's the same no. concept I'm but saying. The, to me, the charts are just data. And if you're aware that there is manipulation, you're not, you know what I'm saying? It's not about the price. It's about just being aware and hodling. That's my main point. Like if if XRP to, to Bitcoin is at an all-time low, that's showing me that right. they're using fucking XRP to move everything around on the back end. There which is go. super fucking bullish. And why is it so low? Because they want anyone that's in it to fucking have to fucking hold on to their fucking bag at the time of like everything's fucking expensive as hell because they want us to sell out. They don't want us with the bag, you know? So it makes you more bullish. If there's a tank right now, as my point is, that's super bullish. And it's just because also the happening. And Bitcoin coming back down for a little bit after that. I feel like that's a point. I really feel like that's a, we're really getting ready to blast. Bro. Go back. Go back. Uh, Kimya. Kimya talked about crypto taxes. Hey, Uncle Bustle Berserker. Uh, how do we do these crypto taxes? Not to switch <laughs> concepts or topics, but. Honestly, that's a personal thing. Yeah, there's multiple options. Exactly. It all and, it depends on what country you live in, right? And where you live, yeah. And and whether or not you believe Mel's right and uh, Mel uh, Carmine, and that we don't have right. to file our taxes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you how I did Bro, mine this year. I, I downloaded a I downloaded a spreadsheet of all my trades. Yeah. And I made an Excel spreadsheet. I handed it to my wife, and I said, "Figure out our cost basis," and then she manually entered it into. Uh, um, she like it's too difficult when you use all the APIs and you link everything when you're moving things. If you buy a crypto on one exchange and then you sell it on a different exchange, 
it's going to be all screwed up when you go to download the transactions from that one exchange. And if you try to manually import it, it's a nightmare. So I manually track everything in one app and then I and then I just do it manually. It's not rocket science, guys. It's you just, just fucking better than all of us, aren't you, Duel? Like, no, I have, I have a wife who's a CPA. Wait, look at you, <laughs> taking showers, keeping track of your paperwork and shit, yeah. smelling good. What the fuck's wrong with you, bro? Listen, if For I the was degenerates there, I and those that file. don't I'm have the file. knowledge, yeah. I would just say use the, the use the, the tax. Um, those that aren't savvy and don't know how to do this kind of shit, don't know how to, you know, even transfer anything on a crypto while those are new just use the tax services that will interoperate with coinbase and uphold and any other exchange you got it'll download it i used it i but was lazy in 2021 and used it so. crypto work, navigator bro. that's what dual's saying he's saying it doesn't, doesn't work. work bro if you how does it not work? work it worked great for me I had no problem with it it, because it doesn't, the exchanges don't communicate with one another. If you buy your stuff on Coinbase and then you go and mm -hmm. you sell it on, on, um, that, that, that cost basis is all off. They like, it doesn't know which went in first. It, it's just that it's an absolute nightmare, dude. I had API set up to track everything. And when Whoa. I tried to import it into my taxes, it was a God awful mess. So I just gave up and did it manually. <laughs> I say at this point, it what pays Caesar, what Caesar's, but at the same time, if we're only relying on no regulations on what this actually is, it's not even classified as anything. Other if you than don't, if you don't cash out fiat into it. your bank and profit, it don't fucking matter. That's exactly it. I mean, you know, eh, I mean, technically it does if you sell a crypto for another crypto. Well, yeah, but how much money you got, bro? Like, a lot of us are fucking still struggling with little bags. If they come after me, fuck them. No, you they're know? not. They're not going to do that. <laughs> well, that, here's the thing, though. But anything thing. anything that, like, Uphold generates, if they give you the 10, whatever the form is, definitely pay that, man. Yeah, you know, any bank that's money. All I'd be worried yeah. about if it's a clerical error on between the two of them. I wouldn't even worry about it because at this point, they are, they aren't even owed, in my opinion, that tax money because they haven't clarified it yet, and it's their fault for dragging their damn feet. They don't know. So it's the wild, wild it. west. That's why they're pissed. Fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> I think the, the best advice <laughs> I can give on this is that obviously that's everybody's going to be individual. Everybody's going to have their own little yep. way. If you if you bought and sold all your cryptocurrency on one exchange and you want to file your taxes, by all means, use the export from that particular exchange to, uh, mm -hmm. to upload into, say, like TurboTax. If you're cashing if you're, out ten grand, be concerned, or even yeah, like you know a couple thousand, you know. But outside of that, you know. I think I think too that um, yeah I forget where I was going to go with that but uh, it, it, if you need help you can obviously get pay somebody to do this for you um, and they'll get all your details but the the bottom line is is to make to make every effort possible to document what you're doing um, for the government if you did get audited so I have a, a giant like ledger of every single buy and sell that I've done on a non decentralized exchange um, so that so that I can show them that I made an earnest effort in order to to track it legitimately and then pay the taxes that were owed and then I'm taught yeah I agree with you bro like 100% but there's and I'm sorry for feeling like sounding upset but I'm so hey, tired of these motherfuckers they tax your you dude, when you when you retire your money's already been taxed and then if they fucking tax it again when you retire and then what do they do? They send it to fucking the U place, and then the U place sends it back to these motherfuckers. And they then you know what I'm saying? The, it's like the uterus. They send it to the uterus. What if you don't know what the U place is, bro, <laughs> and you're joking. making I'm a joking. joke for sure. Yeah. Blue, blue, blue yeah. and yellow, blue your and yellow uterus. flag. Blue and yellow flag. <laughs> you they send everything, to all us. the money to the blue and yellow flag. It's you to us. <laughs> Yeah, dude. So, I'm uh, I'm gonna sit here and talk about Mel Carmine when it comes to the, his concept and what you're talking about. I'm an advocate, bro. Like at the end of the day, Duel, I believe the IRS will be abolished. Hundred percent. I've always I been do too. Do too. a fucking a lofty, hopeful, hopium patriot, and. Dude, IRS I, is I, a criminal I, organization, bro. I just saw for a long time, dude. I, I agree. I think yes. it's coming. My biggest concern is I got a wife that wouldn't sleep at night if we didn't pay our taxes. If I, was I understand. 
Yeah, I would so you where, gotta where, be on the tippy, you gotta be on the tippy movement. top, bro. I wanna I wanna hear some white hat action where we've actually had no some white hat. Saying, nobody's saying don't pay your taxes. Well Mel Carmine technically is. Well, yeah, we're, saying, right. we're saying <laughs> stop saying taxing us the way you are because it's unconstitutional. He says he says he point. hasn't paid his taxes in years. That's yeah, what he said. I know people that do this. Literally. Literally. You guys shut up. Let Berserker finish his point. No, you're <laughs> – shit. You for, no. What I, all I'm saying is that I'm, I'm not riding the fence. I'm just waiting for that catalyst moment where fuck your taxes because it, it is criminal. Like it's criminal, bro. And but but on the other hand, I still file taxes. So, what does that make me? A hypocrite? A fucking scared? Scared? Sucks. Yeah. It sucks yeah. because taxes <laughs> should go to help bad. people. That you know, it should go to help the world, not mm -hmm. to further fucking bring everything down and give them more power to fucking whatever's going on. It's, it's obviously fucked up. So it should actually be something to help, which is what they say. Oh, taxes to pay for this and that, but it isn't. And it's becoming more obvious to everyone. That yep. doesn't mean I'm saying don't pay your taxes, it's you know, right. but. And, and maybe it's part of building that narrative to get rid of some of these three letter agencies. Like we just hear so much about the CIA, the FBI, the IRS, now the SEC being so corrupt. Like, is this all just programming our minds for the inevitable, like, wiping out of these agencies as we move to more it's more of a global you know taxes they, should be automated and put it in a smart contract it will be it will right be. but that's, so, what, so that's to, what it is so hold on hold on shut the fuck up before let duel finish i'm, I'm kidding <laughs> but what i'm saying is <laughs> duel just asked a question. it may have been a rhetorical question but he asked a question he said is this just to prime us all essentially to get ready for the wiping out of these three-letter agencies and that's what I was talking about earlier is that I hope that that happens. But how do you practically do that in the world that we live in? Do you do you keep the institution and then just gut it from the inside? Because I don't know if you guys remember, but remember when they fired Comey and the entire fucking top echelon of the FBI when we started red pilling, or at least when I started red pilling. Remember that? That was so who did huge. they replace them with? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We haven't had transparency since then. Sure, I could, I could, we could probably look up those people, but there's bound to be some sort of deep state connection to even the replacements. So, but that's what I think. The that, names. Say it again, Mel. They just changed the names. Okay. Okay. So they, everything's so, still the same. Right. So you're going down that avenue, which is understandable. But the the, the whole concept is for us to get tired of talking about things like this and to go back to sleep. And that's what mm -hmm. I refuse to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I think that's the biggest issue is I've read all the websites that talk about um, becoming, uh, what is it, um, uh, not a patriot, what is it, a, when you basically break off from, from what America is now and you become a sovereign citizen and you stop paying taxes, all that, and like the process to go through that for the average person is <laughs> is difficult, right? Like it's, I know well, these well, people well, that have When you it, say average. You better know your you shit mean, if you try you that. Mean, <laughs> you, mean, you mean house kids two and a half kids white picket fence a wife you have to answer to that's I, I what just, you mean by average right I, I just mean that when i started looking into that trying to figure out how i could not pay taxes i was just i gave up i was like this is too it's overwhelming just, I, yeah. I watched a random it's funny that you guys bring that up because there was a random uh youtube video that showed up last night <laughs> and it was like I'm like wow it was so random but it was a dude that was trying to claim sovereign citizenship right and the judge annihilated him because like, he was trying to say he didn't want to say that was his name. Right. Oh, he's yeah, like, and he's like, he didn't want to say it was his name. He understood it, but he didn't know the terms to actually go in front of the judge and say the terms he needed to. Like, it's complicated. You pretty was much you Brooks? need to be a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, no, it was some, it wasn't Daryl Brooks. It was some other dude. And he, dude, he wrote, he had it all printed out and the judge read it. And I felt bad for the guy. I really did. I'm like, bro, poor guy. He knows this, but he's, he's, someone told him or what, but he, he it was just like, dude, you, if you're going to try that, you really have to be 
ready for that shit because you're going against a fucking entire system. It's like, a diseased, broken yeah, system, and that's what right. what I was talking about earlier. Being scared <laughs> because I do file taxes, I preach a big game, but you can't. One can say that I'm hypocritic because I'm a hypocritical. I'm hi, I'm a hypocrite because I do still file taxes because I don't want my well, don't want already fucked up life to yeah. get more <laughs> fucked up because these these criminals are allowed to run the the tax fucking ponzi sorry go ahead mel no i would just say you're scared i mean and yeah. that's that's natural i don't want to go to jail either but you can pencil whoop them in the taxes and you can if you want to what is pen- so, pencil whoop define well, that what do you mean like right now you're using part of your home for your show like all that could be deducted the clothes you're wearing uh you know the batteries like in your beeper back in the day Trump You're said so it when it. about Hillary. He's like, yeah, because I know the loopholes and I know how to play your game. Right. And and you right. can pencil up and where they end up owing you money. But also, if you don't want to pay, I think, just don't pay, but save the money. But you might get a little bit of interest. Okay, okay, Anyways. okay. That's a great concept. And you're like, yeah, that's a solution. But how do you teach a nation all at once who doesn't even fucking get close to being able right. to understand well, that? But you're not i mean people are you right. know you, what is the saying you can't fix stupid and i stopped talking to people about crypto and about all, many other things that i think is beneficial for them but i get on this show and i listen to you guys and i pay attention and hopefully somebody will pay attention when i say something that's beneficial to them but like my family or whoever doesn't want to listen you know the hell with them Right, right, right. Didn't the so Beatles write thinking, a song, Tax Man? Right. So my my <laughs> rhetorical statement just now about how do you teach a nation in mass how to pencil whip, so to speak. I'm not making fun of what you said. What I'm saying is rhetorically, you I'm can't. saying obvious. Right, you can't. So the obvious solution is to gut everything, or yeah. crash yeah. everything will, and restart. Will, and that's where the crazy happens, comes from. We'll all stop paying taxes, and they'll have an automated system to collect luxury tax or tax on new goods and services. But exactly. Medicaid, There's got to be a problem for the solution, and yep. this will be a part of the problem. Then you know not. So and like, like, if, if we all is have CBDC, we all stop paying taxes, don't <laughs> react. How about we just don't react? <laughs> Isn't are the CBDC the automatically going to tax you or what are these? How about we do what Gary Gensler has been doing and that's absolutely nothing. Thank you, Gary. So <laughs> it's the CBDC, check. Thank you, Gary. CBDC is not going to automatically tax us because we're we're, by the, example. The, the general public. Well, the general public will use, I guess, CBDCs if they're going to be considered like digital dollar type things. But what I'm saying is I think it's just going to be automated everywhere you go. I mean, yeah, crypto is going to be in the plumbing and all the workings behind it all, but people aren't going to think that it's crypto. They're going to just go, oh, my digital dollar. Oh, I got an auto tax out of my wallet because I transferred, you know, or I withdrew or whatever the fuck, but or I earned 500 digital dollars today because my work paid me into my direct deposit and they taxed it automatically, like what a flat rate, and that's it. So, but we'd embrace it. I mean, I'm leaving the US once we moon, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've thought about where it. Too. Are you yeah, go? but everywhere else is communism, don't you know? But yeah, yeah where, are you gonna, where are you going to go? You know I mean? If it's automated, <laughs> where out are you gonna... pay, then I'm going to buy then Cuba can... and turn it around. There you that's go. There you boy. Go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you buy the government, you buy the local government, and just own yo, it. yo, yo, well, real, quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Tron thirty thirty. He's got a song called "Actually Automator Mastermind." You guys know the rapper Deltron Thirty Thirty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He's got it. He 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 literally is talking in that song about what we're talking about. Right. Yo, real mm. quick, real quick. Y'all hear real me? Quick. What's yeah. up, Pam? So, yeah. Yo, Tails and this bitch was good with it. <laughs> what, what up, Tails? Tails. What up, Tails? Yo, I just wanted to know what's up, man. Um, Southern Cow. Y'all didn't tell me nothing about boardroom not being live on my shit no more. So, y'all want to tell me what's going on? Let's start the real oh. show. We got monetized. We're we're going towards our. Uh, Would you our feel like own... you didn't tell me or something? 
Well, like, we you don't can have be to like, go. you know, we're getting monetized, so we're going to switch over. Like, at least some kind of communication, you know what I'm saying? Because right now there's a lot of miscommunication going on in the community. And I've been, it seems like I'm on the receiving end of it. And uh, I'm about to air this shit out if that's what it's going to be. Well, it's time for motherfuckers to put some respect on my name, bro. Well, first of all, Straight. just to clear the air, like, this was not personal. This was a business decision. We just got monetized. Okay, well, you could have been like, you know, let me know or something. Don't just keep me thinking, I don't know what the, what's going on. Okay. Yeah, good, man. yeah, that's true. Like, at least if we if we brothers and we cool like that, bro, you can at least talk to me about it, is what I'm saying. For sure. Fair enough. Yeah, but, I'm not just coming out of nowhere with this, man, because there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes that people don't know. And and people need to put some respect on my shit. Right, but you're not putting respect on our shit because we're live right now, bro. Yeah, because yeah, y'all, it's really y'all a didn't, private y'all conversation. Didn't wanna, y'all didn't want to yeah. privately come to me and talk to me, just like this other situation, which I know y'all probably know about. And if you don't, we can talk about it more after the show because I'm not going to air it all out. But put some respect yeah, we'll on my back. shit, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we can always address this later. And if you don't mind, you just needed it to be said, you know, I ain't got shit else to say. Okay. Copy that. Well, as the world turns, welcome to XRP boardroom, everyone. Oh, it's getting hot in her. I mean, this is a show known for keeping it 100. Everybody coming in and talking what they feel, right? Well, that's why I haven't cut. No matter whose opinion is right or wrong, right? You speak. I'm letting you speak. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just, that's why I decided to come on the show and say it. You said I'm saying it on show like it's an issue or something. Well, it's not an issue. It was a business decision. Okay. And I would have appreciated some kind of, because for those who don't know, we were simulcasting on my channel too. And the only time I would get the link is if Uncle, if Buster sent me the link for the show. So I wouldn't even be on the show unless he sent me the link. So when I didn't get a link, that's when I knew I wasn't on the show. It would have been nice to know beforehand. I'm just saying. Yeah, I sent you the links when Zerk was gone. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, yeah, either way, brother, that. we could have. But it, it just seems a little coincidental that this shit happened in this other situation. And now it feels kind of the same way. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not like that, but it's hard. To, uh, I, mean, I hope not, bro. I thought we were all good. But if no, it's not, man, then good. it's up, bro. But as far as sign me casting on when you're monetized, I mean, we've been doing this shit for like three years, bro. Yeah, I know. But this ain't the first show that since you've been monetized that we simulcast it. It is. Hey, I used to be uh, simulcasted on my channel, but I got like 39 viewers, so it doesn't really matter. But that happened to me too, you know. But I. I'll step in. I think I don't know what's going on 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 either side of things, but um, if you know, just coming from like a viewer and fan of all of y'all, uh, I was wondering like, oh, is the change up with like tails now or like? Yeah, I think, people yeah, have questions, should, I think, bro. I think, it's, it's about I think, the way think, it looks too, bro. Wait, it's wait, not wait. just about wait what up, you wait, guys wait, got wait, going wait. on. There's ways yeah, to wait. go about shit, bro, and how y'all did it with some fuck shit. I know. No, fuck no, with that. Wait up, wait up. But I do think like. Yeah, because I, I was used to, like, the simulcasts and Tails and stuff. I, I do think that it would have been cool to let Tails know that sure. that wasn't going yeah, down sure anymore. Did. Just, <clears throat> just like, from a pr- outsider perspective on this. Just saying. And I'd be cool with everybody, bro. I don't start shit with nobody. I've been here every fucking time with no issues, bro. But I'm not about to be disrespected, bro. That's not going to happen. <clears throat> Yeah, man. And that goes out for XRP bro. bags too. For those who don't know. Mm. Oh yeah, so this, I'm, I'm, I'm totally out of the loop. loop on shit for sure. I'm out of the loop too. I'm. I gotta catch up here. Don't turn red, Zerk. Don't turn red, bro. We gonna talk about it, but this shit is this man. I don't deserve no. that, bro. No, I don't deserve bro. It. You're doing it, but we don't deserve this live, bro. You're doing a major disrespect to us live. And, it, and I mean, I felt the same way. So just, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I, I ain't gonna say nothing yeah. else, though. Continue the show. 
Well, it's already too late now. The damage is already done, bro. You done what you wanted to do. You got in here and you said your piece, and that's good, and that's all right, and it is what it is, bro. But like, at the end of the day, it we're human. We're gonna carry on. Life moves on. Life goes on. Time goes on. And yeah, you I just know who's your real friends and who's not. You know what I'm saying? People come and they go, but you know, based on people' actions. You know, that's that's when you realize, you know, what's what's real, what's not. I don't even want to get into this tales. I can say all kinds of things, but it's okay. I yeah, won't. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's up. Hold on, hold on, E4. Hold on. Sorry. I'll be the better man and I won't comment on what you're doing. You're trying to call me out, trying to get me. No, to I'm not calling nobody out. I'm just you letting are. it be known. You so you talk about it. You are. That's how I feel about stage, it. Bro. And, that's all right. you know, I'm going to say my We're piece. Bro. People are loving this right now. They're loving the beef. But there ain't no beef. That's the thing. There is no beef. This is a it may be coincidental based on other things, but I also don't know the full content of what's going on and what it's you're going to come out for sure. Y'all know yeah. what's up. I don't know the full loop. The other guys are completely out of the loop. I know some of it, but what I'm saying is the fact that you know some gonna... of it, though, is the issue because I didn't tell nobody. So I'm not the one yapping my mouth about shit. You know what I'm saying? Are you yeah, implying that I'm yapping mouths and shit? No, I'm saying because since you know, somebody had to tell you something. Is what I'm yeah, saying. But it doesn't matter. How does this change anything from going forward? It wasn't a decision. No, nah, it's, made it's by the fact that y'all y'all did me like this today after yeah. what I got done to me the other day, which seems a little coincidental. You know what I'm saying? And I have to air it out like. Straight okay. up, I'm not gonna, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tuck my t tail. I'm not gonna bite my tongue. None of that. That's all right. I'm real. Bro. In the house. Like it is, I'm gonna always tell it like it is. You uh -oh. and right now, I feel this hairy. and the community <laughs> needs to know, man. There's, there's a lot of division. There's, there's a lot of division going yeah. on. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's not hear what Let Crypto Airy. Stop, E4. Ear, Airy, welcome aboard. You came in a perfect moment. I just woke up. Literally, got my. I was. I was so lazy. I got some coffee delivered, and I'm, Mal's been asking me to join for. I've been begging while. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, real quick, up. real quick. If Bag's got something to say in the chat, he can hop on the video and say it on here live, bro. I don't need no more Twitter fingers from you, bro. Are we, Come are talk we about it. All right. You'll answer oh, my calls. Stop. I'm are gonna people, end this. Did I'm people end wake this. up and choose violence today? <laughs> yeah, right. No, nah, it's not violence. Oh. This this is the community, man. We yeah, we've all been know, here for years. We've had our yeah. ups and downs. I know. But you know, I know. I, I'm 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 a stand up person, and I'm not about I, to let I, somebody I, disrespect me and and yeah. think that they can just you know what though kind of family. Way. We don't get into fights with people. We don't give a fuck. We get into fights with our fucking most loved, and that's closest why I addressed it us. because I thought we was fam, bro. Like we we don't went on trips, we don't had moon parties, we don't went to Daytona, we don't went to Sacktown. Like this, this, if I didn't care, bro, I wouldn't have said nothing, bro. But the fact yeah. that I did, it, it means more to me than that. I I miss the coming in, so I don't have any history of what's set, been said or what's going on. But you Fa know, family fuse. Uh, well, variable bull, variable bull and I exchanged words today, and I don't know if he listened to his video, but he's really trying hard to put out an olive branch to some of the people in the community that he's had disagreements with, mm -hmm. and he's really making an effort to try to, you know, back off his own personal ego and and his own hurt feelings and everything like that, and. I think we all have those um, experiences of being um, hurt by people who said things, and you know. And then when the company, when the when the community does divide, it it stacks up even more trolls on one side or the other that start to attack. And yeah, I don't know how to solve it, but I think Bearable Bull's got a point um, that if we were truly to uh, unite. Um, and be able to look past some of the differences and just agree to disagree, we would be a stronger community for it. And we would have less problems with VCs who don't want to interact with this community. It, it slows down development. And, and it just becomes a big problem for 
um, the future of the blockchain. I mean, even Expectar's CTO just recently said that they're trying to go multi-chain and they're having a hard time finding people in the Ethereum community who will even, even participate because the XRP army has such a reputation of being combative and being aggressive and and yeah it's a it's definitely a um it's beyond my capabilities and i'm just as guilty as all the rest for for not always getting along with everybody in the community but i but again i go back to my original and i'm not going to dominate the conversation i'm jumping in because mel's been really asking me um to do so but i think bearable bull's got a point that we somehow have to reach deep down inside and and find a way to not exacerb exacerbate 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 the situation and and try to try to come together genuinely from the heart to make this community stronger which ultimately at the end uh helps the blockchain yeah man crypto area i appreciate you saying that you know i want to apologize first off to you because you know i follow what you do for a long time and i know you know what how hard you you know how much work you put into this so i i want to apologize for you having to even come into this but um what you said is spot on and i feel all that so you know yeah i I don't know are are you mad at are you mad at bags as in bags man he's such a great xrp bags bag man um, they're, they're, that, they're that, really that makes, close, uh, that makes me sad because those guys um man I I've, I've, them... I've i've known them for years man i've yeah. went on vacations with them i've hung yeah. out more more than just friends like family type stuff so yeah. when you think somebody's a stand-up person and come to find out you know it's not true you know it kind of rubs you the wrong way and you know that it you know it is what it is but it's probably that's, that's for everybody to know that sometimes you feel like you can trust someone yeah. and maybe you shouldn't because they, you know they're not people that you know for real yeah well i know that things are Crazy. super complicated in everyday life and and there's always two sides to the story and and maybe maybe he made a mistake and and i hope hope that you guys get along cuz i found him absolutely uh, wonderful. He and Berserker, who played the drums, and Lady E, who was the backup vocals, and I so enjoyed them when I met them in person in Australia. That 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 sort of thing makes me sad to hear because, yeah, it's like when you have two people you really love in the community, and then they and then they have a a fight, and it's it's hard to it's you know you want to stay neutral it's like when they, when someone gets a divorce i don't know how many people have been divorced in this group but same thing happens when you go through a divorce the the friends that you have that you thought were your best friends in life all of a sudden choose a camp you know choose a side it's so painful so i'm not going to choose a side and i and i'm going to try to take bearable bulls advice and try to make my amends with everybody who I've maybe been angry with in the community too. It's just, yeah, you have to at least try. So I hope, I hope that you guys work it out. Thank you so much, Crypto for coming on. I want to chime in guys. You're about to run into lots of money. A lot of people have not had lots of money. You're going to have a lot of enemies, but you have friends here and this issue that's going on with tails and bags and berserker it's going to get ironed out because we're a small community and you guys have a deep deep friendship be i've only known you guys for like two three months and i've grown to really like you i don't know all the issues that are going on but like crypto Uri said uh this is a fight in the family i have two sisters right now that aren't speaking to my mom I mean, <laughs> you know, it happens. And I know. next Christmas, either they're going to face each other or they're going to skip Christmas, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they're going to iron it out. And, they, you know, this will get ironed out, too. And I'm sorry you hopped into family drama, but <laughs> you're family, so. <laughs> I'm used Dude, to it. <laughs> this, yeah, I'm buying the dip on this combo. 
for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying the dip on this relationship for sure. I just woke up. What's going on with the price action? Is it bad? Is it off this morning? <laughs> <laughs> it might be it's off. Warm. It's a no. stable coin. It <laughs> has, has been for the last like six so, months. Up and down stable coin. You know that that stable coin business triggers me, right? <laughs> yeah, Talk I know. About it. it triggers if you've everybody. Been, if you've been reading the Twitter, that that's a trigger for me. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's ridiculous. Mean? It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like people read this report and they automatically, oh, something has been declared. It's like, bro, it literally says report. Report. <laughs> yeah, and the IMF is, report. you know, they're not they're not experts in this space. Um, or the World Bank. It was the World Bank in that case. Yeah. And that and it was written in 2017. It's like it wasn't. Yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I just it's okay. I and I understand what I think I'm starting to understand is that there's a there's a sense of the speculation that comes in the form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And I guess my personality yeah. just doesn't go that way. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. so boring, straight lined, factual kind of I can't do that. So for yeah. me and i have to learn to to lighten up and be loose and laugh yeah, a little yeah, you yeah. know i just really have to learn to lighten up it and sucks that anger laughing. anger is used as a marketing tool that's what sucks. yeah and there's another uh, thing and there's another thing where people just try to like i would say i, I would say clickbait where people just want to create information for more views or for more clout or to be like uh, i was yeah, the I was the first one who came out with it. So give me respect. It's like, bro, it's information for everyone to gather. You're just so happy that you're, you're interested in the subject and you found the information. Good for you. But it's not like you invented the freaking thing. Like, relax, chill out. Yeah, know. we we have a little of that going on, too. And I got to lighten up over that, too. I got to, I, you know, I don't want these people to live rent free in my head because that they're they're it's not worth it. farming for, for engagement on Twitter. Exactly. Yeah, I just have to just. Just like let it go ignore. because yeah. there's like there's people on there um who are like the so this this dominant on this on a, on a on a pacific narrative and they're like they try to even make things up to connect their own narrative but it's like <laughs> are you even living in reality or is that just called delusion at this point like pick, pick a side you know I yeah know. what is it uh, somebody so i think it was matt hamilton love him or hate him but he sometimes has some great wisdom mm -hmm. he said it's like it's like um i'm gonna quote him wrong but it's like saying that You've got an engine from a Rolls Royce, and you've got a, um, you know, a steering wheel from a, from a Honda, and you've yeah. got a, 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 whatever pieces of the car that all go together, right? Yeah. And because you, and because you have all pieces, you mm. now have a rocket that can, that can go launching to Mars, you know, because yeah. it's got all these pieces. 100%. So I think people are trying to just connect dots where. Yeah, they're all pieces, but they don't, they're not puzzles that necessarily fit together. Exactly. Exactly. And another thing is, is people don't understand the technical side of it. Like the actual, like, yeah. they don't understand yeah. what a protocol is, you know? A no, protocol that's is, been another big issue with right? me. Is like, if you asked anyone in the, in the community to explain what, what rippling is within yeah. the software, nobody can answer it then that and that really and if you don't understand auto bridging and if you don't understand um, why a dex being native to the ledger is so key with the digital mm -hmm. asset xrp being the liquidity between all of those pairs mm -hmm. i mean there's just so much of it that that if we stuck to the facts there mm -hmm. we wouldn't be so, having to connect dots that don't exist if exactly. we just if we just stuck to what yep. was real exactly 100 percent. that's the reason why i made my rent on twitter and i linked i put all the links i was like guys you guys we need to stop this is just too much you were doing yeah. too much confusion because some people are investing into something thinking that it's something else but it's like it's never going to be what you think it is but it doesn't mean that it's not going to be used in a certain particular way but if you yeah. go to the website on the ripple website their main main focus is cross-border literally pasted all over their website you can type in go on their page and type in fine and type in cross border and it'll give you so many fines because that's exactly what they're aiming towards but to to confuse like for example like people don't understand that we already have instant payment right now like over here in the states we have zelle over there in yeah. india you have upi is that uh, using crypto at all no it's not yeah. not one bit but it's still an instant payment system, right yeah so ACH. Like, there's there's tons of there's so many solutions out there that give it instant 
instant settlement. Exactly. Well, I should say instant transfer because mm -hmm. settlement still still occurs for the most part in in kind of batched clearing houses, but exactly. it's still but it's still for the for the user. It's instant in their account. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let me ask you a question. Now that we have this uh, stable coin and or use of case of that, wouldn't Medico now that they're essentially custodying institutional investor um, crypto and or uh, Coinbase and an uphold, mm -hmm. wouldn't that uh, constitute a, a ma mainly a flipping of a switch at that point? If we're able to do that, why would we need SWIFT if that's the case? With this Berserker, I'm oh. going to hop off because Crypto Queen's in the back unless we have another space. What people don't understand is just I like... I can jump off. Not <laughs> like... Everything's being updated because everything is is outdated. It like right. The people think of a of a drastic change. It's not. It's not what it is, right? The problem. The problem within everything is security. That's the problem. Is that there's there's so many there's there's so much nefarious activities and the people. All these banks are being hacked like crazy. They, they have to do. They spend more money on cybersecurity than they do on their own payments infrastructure, and that's a problem. And that's what blockchain is trying to solve. It's like that's a really big key feature of, of all of this, right? But that goes into protocol of everything. Like people don't yeah. understand, like the electric grid is the one that gets hacked a lot, many, many times, right? But does that have anything to do with money? No, it does nothing to do with money. But you know, energy web is there, right? And you have standards through there. But but you're gonna need a form of, 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 of a system for for machines and machines to get paid. But that whole system requires an infrastructure to be placed first. And that all comes from regulation and standardization. But that doesn't come from just regular bodies that will be done through Congress. And if people understand that 90% of the world is not dealing with this problem, they're already full blown crypto, let's go, right? It's just America that's dealing with this. Everything, like Ripple's business is full blown going through, like Singapore, Dubai, they're full blown, like let's go. You know, everyone is adopting their stuff. But in America alone, is the problem that's where you think, and that's where this comes in that's where freaking uh, elizabeth warren comes in that's where all this mumbo jumbo comes in but none of that will be done until congress and that's exactly what's happening right now so we have to understand the whole tether debacle we have to understand the eth gate debacle we have to understand all the gary stuff and all this stuff everything that steve talks about that has to be addressed first before anything happens until then no one's touching it no one is touching it because without it, they don't feel safe. Because when you need work in, in, in an industry like that, you can't just make changes, right? Because you have a jillion, like you have billions and billions of customers. All of them get affected. None of these companies can afford any downtime at all, right? So there's like a whole corporate part of this that people are not putting together. And all of that comes from standardizations and regulations and all that stuff. Without that, nothing is happening at all whatsoever. Because that's not how the world works. <laughs> that's just what it is. What it is. There's got to be some kind of regulations moving in the background because, you know, Ripple, they started with only 24 licenses to use uh, this technology in the United States. And now we have almost every single state. So if there isn't any kind of regulation or anything in Congress, how are they achieving these licensing that they have in the United States to use this technology is what baffles me. I want someone that knows about these regulations to talk about that next subject. That's really what I want to hear, because that's the tie in to all this. Somebody's got to have that information. Yeah, I believe a good I believe, to talk. We need like a John Deaton to talk about that. I believe I believe they muddy the waters on purpose in Congress and in the Senate. They do it on purpose for us not to know what regulations are coming until it's time. That's what I believe. Yeah, I've got a I've got Lummis speaking on that exact issue two it's about two weeks old and she is pretty confident based on what's going on on the in the backside which she admitted she cannot say because they haven't gotten to the finish line yet but there is i think a lot of activity and she expects to have some sort of um they expect to have some sort of regulation done before q3 because once q3 comes a lot of people are focused on on the campaigns, there's so many seats that are up for re-election that everybody shifts their focus in Congress to keep their seat. So I think we're going to see it pretty fast, actually. Um, yeah. I would say within the next probably two or three months, we're going to see we're going to see something come through. 
and that will that will be interesting. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm one of those people who actually think that Tether's doing an excellent job in their transparency mm -hmm. lately and the last two years Absolutely. with BDO audits and everything. And, mm -hmm. and but I'm really curious to see if if they are going to be too little, too late. the center of attack uh, with regulation because they are outside of the they're outside of the U.S. and the U.S. likes to have its control over the over yep. the U.S. dollar. I'm really really curious to see how that works out because if that if that does if they do take some of the uh, market share away from Tether based on their rules and regulations that does give ripple like a huge new open window and i'm just wondering if they know of something that's coming down high against each other and that's one of the reasons why they decided to come into the space with a with mm -hmm. a stable yeah for, for me for me like if you look at the clearing how documents because i'm always going to refer to documents if i don't if it's not on a document it's not official i'm not even talking about it if you look at the clearing house the clearing house said that uh, they uh, uh, placed it on february 9 2024 i think it was this year and they said from um uh, the clearing house one from november 2003 which pushed to um th this year all the way to april 2024 and then on the on the Citibank document, it says it says spring, which is April, you know, this mm -hmm. era. And then on module loop on the on the, on a module loop document, it says July. So if you oh. put that together and you put that with, with Swift uh, CBR plus Swift so BR CBR plus uh, has three stages, uh, 24, 25 and 26. But the main stage is 24 and 25, right? 25 is just the the on all the documents that I come up and they see of adoption. 25 is just like implementation. Like get on board now because if you're not fully on board by 26, I'm sorry, you're not in regulation. Like you can't be operating no more. And I think that's why you're 100% where we we probably see stuff maybe between right now and April. I mean, it just so happened Ripple comes out the stablecoin in the beginning of the month. I mean, come on, during doing a new year, like come on. So you have yeah, you have I stable. actually I called that stablecoin though back on <laughs> January 2nd. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I, was I, I just, I, I've been paying attention to their narrative, yeah. and I could just, I could just see it was coming. Yeah. So you know, Ari so gets the have, credit. Make sure she gets the credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now you have that right in April, right? Which we're now in Q2, and we have all this. We look at the chart, and that and their, their chart stops in in July, right? So between April and July, we could probably see a lot of stuff happen. You know, who knows? I don't know anything. I'm just saying we could probably see some stuff happen. And then from July to November can be all just geopolitical stuff that starts to settle down. You know, whatever happens in November happens in November because that dictates where the future goes. And through there, we can probably see that'll go into 25 into March and everything. And through there, be, you know, so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just, you know, who knows what's going to happen? I'm just really focused on all these cases that are going on right now and all this stuff that's happening within a uh, within uh, the Congress and all these things that are coming out. Who knows? Well, um, well, James O'Keefe is going to do a Stephen uh, uh, podcast. And, and, and for the fact that James O'Keefe is now into ETHGATE and his fan base is so large, I mean, like, yeah. who knows what's going to happen now? Like, yeah, that's every, good. everyone's eyes is on this whole situation. So things can change a lot faster than we, than, you know, we know about. Yeah. So. I'm happy to see that, that that got picked up by him. Mm -hmm. And I'm also really happy to see that that Stephen is fighting back and has sued mm -hmm. the government and um he he definitely needs to have his day in court so that's oh, great yeah. mm -hmm. it's, isn't it crazy how the, from xrp we're just random ass people across the world like we know nothing about finance or anything but yet we're in this space one we went against we went against freaking uh the supreme courts and stuff and we, uh, or, or the courts with the with the ripple case against the sec and with, through through us through the whole movement and with with john deaton at the front yeah. xrp is not secured that is massive that shows yeah. that there's power in people right there's we have a voice yeah Next it's thing, gonna you know, be have, like this is beautiful but. yeah it's gonna be a use case i think in going forward in a lot of major universities about mm -hmm. the decentralized justice movement mm -hmm. that and i think that the the use case of the seventy five thousand plus people that really became unified and with a voice mm -hmm. that became heard mm -hmm. i think is going to be yeah very much uh studied and and a model for a lot of maybe future fights in the Definitely. future. Yeah, it's it was really great to be a part of that.
Yeah. My my only question is so. Okay, th this is just me being. This is has nothing to do with anything. This is me just being curious, or whatever. I don't mean none of this. Okay, I'm just I'm just saying. What if this is the new Howie? That's all I'm saying for for the digital space, not for the security kids because the Howie's not going to go nowhere. But I'm just saying for a new world in a digital space in a digital landscape, this could be it. You can be could use the two. You can use they can be Howie and this together that that regulates and that dictates how the space moves forward. I'm just saying it could be a possibility. Yeah, I imagine oh, though, to get to that, it's got to go to the Supreme Court. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, yeah, I think they're going to drag this thing out to as far as they possibly can. It makes perfect sense. It's been a stall tactic for BTC and ETH to get a head start. Look at all the money's been piled in. Look at how much money they put into getting these ETFs. They want a front run. They want a nice pump up. They want a nice cash out moment before they're going to let it, any kind of ETF for XRP, I believe. I think this has been all the setup. Since the beginning to get in exactly what you just said, Nerdy, you had the nail on the head. A new Howie test. There's a new standard. Look, they did it right. They've always been transparent. Nobody else can really be backing up and say they were this transparent of everything they did from the beginning. I mean, they even gifted all of the coin to the XRP ledger from OpenCoin. So they did it completely different than everybody else. So now the standard that they did set is so high that it's going to take a lot of other, you know, manipulation of the system or and or Congress to get involved before a lot of these, you know, coins are actually going to survive, in my opinion, now that this bar has been set so high in the standard. So that's what I see happening. I think what's been interesting with the narrative of the stablecoin coming out for ripple is that we heard earlier stablecoin regulations being around the corner and i think even brad carlinghouse referring to that in an interview earlier this year and then you get the ripple stablecoin announcement for and the release coming out towards the end of the year mm -hmm. curious to see how like i just think it's interesting timing with the the timing of stablecoin regulations coming Gee, you out know the most the interesting moment. thing to me bro is 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 larry larry going on cnbc and telling everybody it doesn't matter if ETH is security or not they're still going forth with their ETH, with their etf that to me it says it says something huge that these etfs are never going away these are going right. to be something that's going to be part of people's retirement forever like this is something that's going to be there but again if ETH gets scared of declared security, it doesn't matter people are still gonna because like ETH is ETH. Everyone builds off of it. Everyone has built off of it. Like it has the most developers. It has the most activity. Like there's something there, right? We cannot deny that, right? But at the same time, it goes it goes to the tokenized the tokenizer interview with Morpheus. And what Morpheus said is that they have a side chain developed that they can switch at any moment given in time. That to me, those things together say something. What we know is going to happen, we don't know, but we do know that, for example, the BIS has developed their own chain. So a lot of these people are developing their own thing, right? Mm. So we'll see where this goes. We'll see what actually gets utilized and what doesn't get utilized. But people building their own thing and people moving away, and and then uh, with with Wasm and and all these all these uh, uh, digital security laws, and then uh, the Biden administration coming out talking about national security and how we, uh, they're, they're telling people, hey, maybe you guys should use Rust. And all these different things, they matter. Like all these little things, they matter because if we're gonna move into an, a, an interoperable future where money is actually talking to machines, well, that has to be easy for developers to develop something to incorporate this stuff. So it's not just like you know so many different things going on at once. People need standardization because if there's standardization, the more people can develop faster. And that's the biggest thing is we can have all this. We want this beautiful world, but if no one's building it, then it's never gonna happen, right? But through there, you have to have like you have to have you have to know like okay i can use this tool i can use that tool like for example like hyperledger is a big deal right because hyperledger is like a mm -hmm. it's like an app store for blockchain that's exactly what it is and companies are there oh i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use that and that's huge so we'll see where that goes but i'm, and, just really, uh, I'm pretty interested with, and with garling i was saying stable coins uh market to be at around five trillion and i think jeff from Hodel just brought up something interesting as well in that comment about the Supreme Court decision. But with regulations coming up for stablecoin, I think Ripple thinks they're still at the starting line, really, with this whole market. If they're expecting it to be five trillion dollar stablecoin market, and currently it's what one hundred and fifty billion, I think they think they're still at the starting line. Yeah, well, if, if those numbers are 
crew, they are at the starting line. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, uh, it's going to be so interesting to see. I think I think the timing was all part of the AMM coming into play because I think right. the liquidity yeah. pools, the liquidity pools, if they get large enough in pairs with stable coins, not only in US dollars, but also with yen and euro and and all of the other major seven there's basically seven <laughs> major fiats in the world that move value um not the and i think the exotic the exotic corridors will probably always have a a use case for odl but if those big liquidity pools could really seriously exist on the amm um and you don't need if the if the pools are large enough there there can be just those atomic swaps and you don't need xrp to bridge xrp will still be part of the um transactions that occur um outside of the um of the amm but it's it's uh it's going to change the tokenomics of xrp for sure and so i and i think that's one of also the reasons why um the bridge is trying to be put into place so that mm -hmm. it can move freely back and forth um mm -hmm. whether or not they can find because the federated the federated version of side chains was abandoned back in september 2022 they've gone to no, now witness servers well the witness servers now also need regulation clarity so mm -hmm. that they're not caught in some sort of um problem of of the web for you know regulatory capture so mm -hmm. that might still be slow to go but what's so interesting for me is to see that ripple has really put a stake in the ground to attract developers if you look at what they are trying to do they really are trying to build value for the digital asset outside of beyond just remittances and um i, I hope that they can they can do it and i mm -hmm. hope that other people fall in to help them uh, yeah. like futureverse for example futureverse yeah. is doing a great job at using the digital asset xrp mm -hmm. so it's never looked it's never looked better for the mm -hmm. for the asset in terms of setting it up for success mm -hmm. but i think that the um the xrp community got so so overhyped by something was going to happen sooner than it has that they've yeah. lost that they're disappointed and they they've they're seeing all these other meme coins and and other protocols that are doing really really well and so mm. i think people have reduced their exposure to xrp and yeah and the, and the sentiment is low but if you really take a step back and look at the big picture and you guys know i'm not a big hyper in fact i get accused of being a, a ripple hater and an xrp fudder because <laughs> yeah which, which is pretty crazy but i'm just trying to take a realistic point of view i think Ooh. that the ledger and the digital asset xrp has never been set up better for success than it is today agreed 100 i have to agree with you eerie hello 100%. everyone hello there hello yeah i have to agree i'm actually more bullish than ever on mm -hmm. an XRP and the announcement of the stable coin. I think I agree with you, Crypto Erie. It's going to bring liquidity to the AMM, more liquidity for the XRPL. I think it's going to bring more developers in as well. And if you look, um, Ripple have also opened up rolling grants for develop developers as well to get more builders. I saw on. that. That's been uh -huh. that's been revamped as of today, huh? Yeah, and gotta and look, that's that's exciting that. as well. So if you are a builder or a developer, and it's you don't see it on the XRPL, well, now's your time. You can apply for a grant. Um, I noticed in the chat. Uh, there was a question for us, uh, Crypto Eri. If you or I have signed an NDA, I have not signed any, any NDA with anyone. Well, I'm a developer, and and I'm and I'm also also privy sometimes to information when I when I do uh, um, interviews with people over the years. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've got ex outstanding NDAs with with different chains, different protocols, different people in the space. So that's, that's an NDA. And actually I issue NDAs as well. I'm, I'm, I've got a business that 
Thank you. will uh, be launched uh, in about two and a half months. Uh-huh. And we've shared it with people in the community and, and asked for those NDAs to be shared too, because we're trying to stay in stealth as long as possible. Uh-huh. It's a project that's been in, in the works for over two years. Uh-huh. So uh, yeah, I, I don't think NDAs are any big deal. It's just a way to try to protect information from spreading exactly. loosely. loosely. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. important because you put in all the work yeah. and someone else just comes along and takes your shit. So <laughs> NDA is important because you guys exactly. have been developing for so long. I don't think it's a nefarious mm-hmm. thing at all. Protects your intellectual property. That's what it's all about, right? Correct. Usually Correct. it's all about protecting and also protecting partnerships and protecting, you know, sometimes you sign short-term NDAs based mm-hmm. on announcements that are coming out. And once the embargoes pass, then you're able to talk freely about it. But yeah. there's all sorts of types of NDAs out there. And um, yeah. there's every flavor under the sun. But yeah, I'm, if, I'm, if you don't I, have NDAs, you ain't trying. <laughs> yeah, but well, no, oh, thanks. Thanks. I don't have NDAs, but I'm not going to everyone. <laughs> And Shout people do you. tell me lots of things, but I, I, I don't pass it on. That's I don't have any. It's okay. Me yeah. either. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And when Ripple starts putting out non-competes, then, then, then the, uh, the other coins should get worried. <laughs> not guys, non-compete I think, would be there. All right. Sorry to interrupt you. I want to thank you all for coming in here. Obviously, this is larger than anything that any of us individually could do. And, uh, Shout out. This is a testament to the love and all the time and energy we've all put in here, including you, Tails. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So this is this has been insane. Epic. <laughs> I didn't I swear to you, I didn't call Ari. I didn't call Crypto Queen. I didn't call any of you guys to come in here. It just happened. Oh, it's almost like a divine intervention. So, <laughs> I, love you, <laughs> I love you too. And, yeah, and once again, man, I just a lot wanted of to time. apologize to Crypto Area, you know, for having to come in and no, in the no, middle no, of that, worry. you know, Listen, I didn't want our first, you know. Don't worry. I, I, I've been through so many dramas in this space that I'm totally unfazed. <laughs> Unfortunately, unfazed. that's the community. But, you know, she's, we're all she's together seen in, some in, shit. In Gary's like, seen some shit. That's how <laughs> it, it, it means you know we're going at it. I remember that. <laughs> I don't know like the rodeo either, guys. We go way back. I remember her coming in uh, way back in the day with uh, Chip and Jeff. She came in in one of your like early, early, early days, uh, Berserker, when E4 was on here all the time. I think we were playing music that night. You guys were like jamming out, playing music. And she came on way, way back in the day. So she's been here for a minute, too. It's been three oh, years at least. I've been, I've been following Aries since 2018, man. Yeah, man. my first, man. my first, uh, I was a Bitcoin maxi, you guys. That was my channel was 100% <laughs> yeah. Bitcoin in 2017, early 2018. It was CKJ. And I will always give mm-hmm. him credit for inviting me on his channel. And, and that kind of brought, uh, a new community to my channel, which was the XRP mm-hmm. community. And I found that they were absolutely unjustly judged and all of the FUD that was being spread around the ledger was untrue. And so I felt that as a content creator that I should be more factual based. So maybe that's why I'm so anal about always sticking to the facts is because that's what brought me in originally to the XRP community was that I I was trying to stop all the all the you know Max Kaiser and and uh, <laughs> right I mean, yeah. there were so there were so many on the early side of of um, there are so mm-hmm. many many of them have come around now the mm-hmm. you know many of them have come around and and now think differently and don't spread that same narrative yeah but it and it's been a fun it's been a fun company to follow. Uh-huh. And I've never solely relied on Ripple for the ledger. I've always fallen in love with the ledger and, uh-huh. and its capabilities and its potential. But yeah. Ripple has been, without a doubt, a super fun company to follow through yeah. the yeah. years. Um, because if you're a Bitcoin person, the only thing you have to talk about is price, which yeah. is pretty <laughs> boring after a while. Yeah. And and in the beginning, we used to talk about lightning, but lightning is definitely, mm. unfortunately, I'm sorry for Bitcoin, but lightning just is not 
going to yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They might come up with a good payments solution for Bitcoin. I'm not sure, but I mean, I hope it does just for the space, yeah. but it's mm -hmm. not, it's not happened yet. Yeah. I will say that I, I did. I always, uh, your channel and tokenizers channel were the two channels I went for real information because there you are right. There's a mm -hmm. lot of like, you know, people's own perspective that are putting into the information, but your channels and tokenizers channel is what got me down the rabbit hole. And then after I understand your guys, that's when I went through my own rabbit hole. But I think yeah, I that. a tokenizer I so. met through um, Genfinity when I was writing for them mm -hmm. before, before Ryan decided to shift more towards doing um, Twitter spaces. I think so. um, he was doing a lot of, of articles. And so I was, I was one of the writers contributors for his thing. And nice. that's how I became aware of tokenizers work. And he, he really mm -hmm. is a uh, thorough in his yeah. deep dives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's good. And man's a genius. Like it's crazy to know that he's younger than us, but he's a freaking genius. Like he knows his stuff, you know? Yeah. Much respect. Tokenizer, if you're watching, I love you, bro. <laughs> Ari, are you going to Las Vegas? No, no. And I, if I, if I could overcome my bias and my ego, I might. But that, you know, we asked. Now I'm not. I'm not doing this for. I just am going to put out the facts here. We asked Brad Kimes for a collaboration for Australia, and we got a a no in writing from him. And so mm. there's a little bit of a division. So I feel like, how can I, and I should, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to myself right now. Variable Bull just told me that if we don't unite, we're, you know, we're, we're going to be very weak as a, as a community. Um, I should get right. over it. Be and, but, I'm glad that you said something though, because sometimes things need to be addressed, especially if you feel some type of way, like you've put a lot of effort in what you do for the community. And a lot of people have respect for you. And that's why I did what I did, because I've done the same and people have respect for me for what I've done. And sometimes you just have to say what it is. Like if people don't like it or if it makes them feel uncomfortable. Oh, so so well. Oh, well, like people need to start being real out here because yeah. like enough of this yes. fakeness going around on Internet. And I'm not one of those people, but yeah, I'm glad you I said that. And sure don't worry about it. Man. Yeah, that understands the facts. And and actually, you know, I think that. um there's also a difference in ethos. We did nonprofit, and I think nonprofit conferences are the way to go. And it, and and we really went developer focused, people who are building in the community, not people who are making money on the community. If you look at the difference of who's sponsoring that, which is fine. I'm all for people being able to seize an opportunity to make money and. You know, I'm I'm a capitalist at heart, um, but we have a different ethos. I, I want to focus on the builders, and I think that um, if you look at the sponsors, it's all pretty much. Although Jeff from Moai Finance is going to be there, that's fantastic, and I really think it's good that they brought in Corium. Even though I wish Corium would r run more infrastructure in the XRP Ledger uh, community. <laughs> Yeah. Um, because they're, they're 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 using up a lot of resources, but I'm really really happy with their bridge. They built that bridge, yep. and that's fantastic. That's so that's a builder that's going to be in Las Vegas, and Jeff from Moai Finance is going to be in Las Vegas. Those are really two really great people. But mm -hmm. for the most part, it's 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 politicians, which is good mm -hmm. to have the politicians uh, be able to listen to our voice. Mm -hmm. And it's companies that are making money on the community, you know, trust, yeah. I trust capital and link to and uphold. And they're, they're not, they're not necessarily builders. They're people who are offering products and services to sell into the community where, where I just, we, I think we just took a different um, approach. And I think there's probably room for both, obviously. Right. And yeah, definitely. And then how did, it, that, how did that make you feel though? Like what? that you weren't you weren't good enough for it, or good was it just something it. you were okay with it? Like you mean being involved in XRP being Las involved, Vegas? just felt like you were left no, out or not, whatever the no, case. No, no, no. There's no. It's not my deal. It's a, that's a that's 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 his for profit event. And so, like I said, I'm, I'm really I'm really more for one that does a non profit, not for profit, not for profit. Uh, effort. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think it's going to be good. And I think that it serves its purpose to enhance the community and to build um, more gateway into new people that coming are coming into the marketplace. And so, yeah, I, I, it's just different. It's like, you know, I like tacos and I like pizza. <laughs> you know, so what do you feel like? I feel like I'm I'm a talk. I love tacos. Oh, yeah, like the best tacos. 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 Hey, Buster makes the best tacos. Tacos are better than pizza, hands down. <laughs> right. Who, who turns down tacos? Uh, with with all these meme coins that have been going, and you still uh, have my invitation whenever you come to Mountain Home. My, Mountain my home, home, Idaho. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I've Let's got, go. I've got lots of hook, people in that area. Hook you, up, hook you up with some seafood tacos when you come to Florida, Crypt Dairy. Uh, yeah, we. I've done a lot of um, fish tacos, but the fish tacos are. I've done a lot throughout the whole world, and it just depends on where you are in the world, what kind of fish that they use. But if they're really yummy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much for on that note. Yeah. Uh, thank it. you Thank you for joining us, everyone. Good we're, seeing you. We're forty minutes over time. Oh yes. Oh wow. 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 It uh, it's been a pleasure, all of you, the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, for what it's worth, I do love you guys, and I appreciate oh, yeah. the last four years. This has been a journey. And mm -hmm. uh, you ever heard that phrase? Um, you know, it happens when you're about to give up. Yeah. I think we're close, guys. I think we're really close. Yeah, don't give up. Yeah. I already bought the dip and we're getting that V-shape recovery. It's nice. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, I don't know if Crypto Queen or Ari want to do a plug for whatever. And uh, and then I think I just want to thank you all for showing up. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I hope I, didn't, I hope we didn't scare you away. And you, you're welcome <laughs> to come on anytime if it's okay with Uncle Buster. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually a late sleeper because I, I like last night I was on a call till 1.30 in the morning and, and I usually am not even awake by 10 o'clock my time. My whole time schedule shift just mm -hmm. because of the, right. of the time zone that I live in. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm about to have a, in 15 minutes from now, I'm about to have a my fifth session with Scott Chamberlain of Evernode. Nice. Which is mm, and okay. every, so I, I not I I'm not so much trying to get you guys to look at the token, but I want you to look yeah. at the um, technology because okay. not only does it work uh, with um, Zahao, mm -hmm. but it also works on any EVM chain, and it right. works also on the XRP ledger. Nice. So this mm. is this is a serious smart contract scalability solution that's really important and mm -hmm. i and i just think that um if it didn't seem interesting to you the technology i think mm -hmm. have a second look because i think evernote is really yep. uh is really good for the ecosystem definitely okay. crypto queen yeah i've got to agree with uh crypto eerie there and i think you know zahao is is awesome as well um i know that cosmic zahao are gonna have a marketplace there for NFTs and um, we need to create more adoption uh -huh. on Zahao. And um, yeah, I just think that's pretty exciting. I mean, I, you know, I have the Crypto Queen show once a week recorded. Um, I just got a message from Stephen Narayoff. So I'll be setting something up with him. Nice. Um, I've got projects that are built on the XRPL, um, but I also sort of head outside of that. And I actually wanted to ask Crypto Erie if she knew much about canisters on ICP and how that would look for XRP, but I can um, talk about that with you at another time. No problem. But, um, anytime. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, so, you know, and I'm also, I want to give a shout out to um, Ivan or Lost Art, <laughs> who was in Australia and he's launching a, it's called My Web 3 Me or Dot Me. And I'll have him on the show in a couple of weeks as well. But he's la he's um, launching a platform which integrates all your socials and it integrates nice. Web3. Um, so if you are interested in that, where you can have like all your different socials hooked up with your wallets for payment all linked in, 
let me know and I can send up a, set up a private with him to show you what that looks like. Nice. Thank um, you. But yeah, that's you. it for me. Thank you for having me here. Great to be can, here with all of you. Can you uh, add Berserker or uh, Anerdy and Bu uh, Buster, if you nice. don't mind, on your DM? Uh, crypto. I have Berserker. I have Nerdy. Do I have you on the DM? And then uh, Crypto. I mean, uh, uh, Ari, can you add Berserker to your DM if you don't mind? Yeah. And then I'm gonna think... I'm gonna put Maybe you on I'm the not... spot. No, I think we are. I think we are. We've oh, chatted okay. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And yeah, and I love my setter, my setter cap too. Yeah, can, come in. Can, well, I'll take care of you pro bono in as many people as you one want. Of you both get John Deaton to come and hang out with us and just shoot the oh, he's a little on the busy side guy so yeah. i would give him a little space because yes. he's the type of guy hates to say no to anybody but i think mm -hmm. he's running really hard right now trying to trying to the reason why this is crucial for him is that mm -hmm. there there's a there's a big fund for the republicans called fair shake it's a super PAC, right mm -hmm. i think brad garland yep. house contributed 25 million to it and mm -hmm. it's one of the largest super PACs out there. And they're mm. deciding on how to allocate those funds. And he's got to be a viable candidate in the eyes of the Republican Party in order for them to continue oh, to give okay. him in. And so that because he's self-funding right now yeah, and yeah. he's got the this the uh, website set up, but it only mm -hmm. is available to be um, contributed by by U.S. citizens. So I, I think he's just, I think we give him a little bit of space so that he can mm -hmm. concentrate on really making a big effort. Now that that Ian Kane's guy has come into the race, it's yeah. going to split the vote, which is really unfortunate. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I've been following this close enough. I'm, I'm, he's got to get those 10,000 verified voters to put him on the ballot. He's not yet done that. So I oh. hope he's got till the 5th of May. If he doesn't successfully do that, which is a possibility, then he'll have to drop out. And yeah. then all those Republican votes can go to John. But John is still in a, in a, he needs our support big time. And I think we just need to give him, um, yeah, we just need to give him the support to h help get so that he looks like a viable candidate and that he gets some of that money from the the super pack fair shake i think that's important for him okay. right now um, yeah nice. well if we could do anything to help and what about uh um uh, what is the the attorney lady's name oh uh, elador maybe she can come on and help, pu uh, help push john deaton i mean between this channel and tails and and uh bags there's there's thousands of viewers that maybe can do something mm -hmm. to contribute but when the time comes whenever you are yeah maybe just start time. researching i've been paying attention to the media that's coming out of the boston massachusetts area and just keep searching for um people that are covering the campaign that show that he's a viable candidate and that he that, that, that the race is close and that he's got support. And I think sharing some of that media would always help him greatly. Definitely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Girls, if you haven't noticed, Mel uh, is a stellar gentleman. He's been, <laughs> he's been absolutely phenomenal since day one. So, Mel, I appreciate oh, yeah. everything you've done for us, bro. And I'm new. Yeah. I'm seven months into crypto, guys. Yeah, he's got that, <laughs> he's got that fresh excitement. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but no he he, he uh he, he's been extremely cool to us and i look forward oh, to yeah. buying him i'm actually going to bring him airy i'm going to bring him this special blend that's made by a local vineyard uh the vineyard's called cgd Ari, and they make a blend for us they make our house red and i'm going to bring him a couple bottles of that i what wanted kind of, to give you sorry go ahead what kind of grapes are they using i'm just curious well the soil from where i'm at is known for their barbera and their zin so mm -hmm. it's like award-winning, world-renowned. So mm -hmm. the it's a Barbera Primitivo Zen blend, and it's, mm -hmm. he's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. I'll mail I'll mail you one, but I don't know if it'll make it to Japan. 
Well, the thing is, is that the the shipping would cost more than the wine itself. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Next time I see you, if we if there is another conference, and if we don't blast off to the all get back in the next six months, like if we get a meetup, I'll I'll bring you something special. So it'll be that nice. That sounds great. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. but we love you guys. We're way way crazy yeah. over time. We got to do dinner, and we got kids to put to put to sleep, and. All kinds yeah, of and I've got I've got seven minutes, and I've got to get my link off to Scott Chamberlain. So yeah, I'm the same way, under the gun. Yeah. We'll, we'll be on your. We'll come and watch your show after this. Thank yeah. you, thank uh, you, Crystal It's, it's going to be uploaded, but just going forward, just just give a little bit of a support to Evernote because I think that that's a Evernote. really great technology. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. We all have Evernotes here, just so you know. Yeah. So we're all do you here. really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 A lot of us have multiple yeah. Ever Evernotes. So. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's great. Another thing is, too, customarily what we do is we ride the show out with minutes. And we always have a minute man who takes us. It's like a, we treat it like a boardroom, like a funny little boardroom thing. So we put That's nerdy great. on screen, and he usually recaps the whole episode. This might be a little laugh. And then we finalize the show with a video of our choosing. Last show, E4 has suggested a personal song that we all did as a community called Crypt, uh, Country Crypto. We're going to play that afterward. So if you want to watch a kind of fun sh fun music video that we all made together, you'd stay stay tuned for uh, after Nerdy's comments. So we're going to ride it out. We love you guys. Thanks for coming in. Thank Ari, you, thank, thank you. you. Crypto Queen, thank you. And Tails, thank you. Uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. Uh, Nerdy, you want to walk us out, bro? Hell yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Here we go. What's up, Glitches? It was a 10 show. Zerka got a new channel. It's monetized. Let's go. <laughs> Crypto Airy, Queen, thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Regulations coming in. Everything's getting tense. The whole rocket's about to blow. Later, glitches. Love it. We love you guys. We'll catch you on the flip side. This is XRP Boardroom with Zerk and Buster. This one's called Country Crypto. We see you on the next one. <laughs> Yo, this is Berserker, and I want to see my mama smile. want to see farmland for 100 miles that I own full of goats and sheep and pigs from XRP. Uh, with a big old house and a big old barn with a big old truck and a big old girl with a big old smile. Yeah, baby, that's my style. I don't know what I'm going to do. Got to get some gas at the station, too. Pull out my payment, not very hard. Pay my bill with my crypto card. Pay my bills. Groceries, drinks, rent, and fees with my XRP. XRP, XRP. Make my payment with XRP. Seems like the reach, but you have the wings to fly there. Cut the crypto. Hell yeah. And in between, that and everything is going right. Hell yeah. E4 here, riding tough with the crypto pioneers. It's a wild west in the crypto space. So please be careful when you copy and you paste that your bags that go poof into outer space. Meanwhile, we'll be waiting on the retrace, adding to our bags in three ways. Farming, staking, and delegating. Joking for the death, not much of a rapper. The cat is in tiger, the king of the beast. Got Alex D. Vlogs jumping out his seat. Part of a team, an invading force of the digital kind. We're setting the course. Me and my bro bros, we're coming in hard. We'll be blowing your mind like a bloke on the shard. Uncle Buster's here. This ain't new to me. Anti sheep is psychology. Against the grain, it's instilled in me. Feel my ruckus. DNA, my biology, stacking bank money, losing psychologically. I do what I do, I say what I say. 
Get those motherfucking zerps up. Uh. Just like a breeze, but you have the wings to fly there. Country crypto. Hell yeah. And in between that and everything is going right. Hit that. Future is bright. Big bag, only sorry, Alice in the pop. But we about to blow, retirement shop. We started at the bottom, rock it off to the top. You sitting at the bottom and you watching them shop. Chilling with the blue crew, we popping them tops. SEC tried, but the army don't stop. Now we piling the gains and we watching moon shots. The only thing we missing is a crown for the top. Look, got a fat bag of XRP, you know me. It's Crypto Tell, the one and only. Picking up some NFTs on open seas. XRPL gonna be better on the fees, though you already know. Still buying on the low. Welcome to the show, got Berserker on the float. You know it's about to blow as soon as the case closed in. I'm a get ghost. Seems like a breeze, but you have the wings to fly there. Country crypto. Hell yeah. And in between that and everything is going right. The future is bright. Down on the farm like the UK stuff, the Ethereum bugs with the CC club like a hydroponic hybrid. I used to play shrubs, now my NFT joints are filled with mad buzz. Farming XRP, that's my new pay stuff. Some are singing in the night, both the flying blowing up. Yeah, me and Miss Kill forever in love. We're in the crypto garden and we got the pure blood. Hey, With Ripple taking top spot, drop the lawsuit, you all got caught. XRP is top notch, it's not fun, it's intellectual thought. You must keep up or sell for loss. I'm um, going ghost with bags and berserker. You can catch us at the North Side Universe. Candles are fucking dangerous. Jazzy XRP. Spontaneous. Plan from the get go. The actress is all the show. Coinbase and Robin Hood. They go go the show. show. 